morning, boys and girls. It is so good to see everybody back at Faith Roots. Right now, I'm just writing a letter to a very special friend. Hey, Miss Megan, guess what? I got the mail. Oh, shucks. I, I forgot about the mail. I just need to get this in the mail. Oh, I guess you'll have to wait till tomorrow. Oh, man. Oh, it's okay, though, right? Yeah, I guess. But I'm writing to a letter, a letter to a friend that I haven't seen in, in a long time. And, you know, over these past few months, I've been getting a lot of letters from other friends of encouragement. And they've been sending me letters, and it's been making me feel so good. It, it lets mm -hmm. me know that, that God still loves me, and, and it's just felt so good. So I wanted to do the same oh, for my friends. that's really nice. Yeah. yeah, well, this is what I got in the, the mail today. Um, I love going there because you just never know what you're going to find, right? But first, I found these. These are like advertisements. They're really colorful. They're really pretty. Sometimes I actually get some information off of them, some good information, but most of the time, mm, it's just businesses that want me to come and visit them and spend money with them. So it's not really special to me. They don't really care about me when they send me these letters like your letter, do they? No, that's true. Usually when I get that kind of mail, it just goes right in the trash can. I know. Me too. Oh, look at that. Here's some bills. Yeah, bills are sent to me by the businesses that I use their services. Yep. And sometimes I have to pay them money. So they send me a letter to remind me of how much I owe them. But you know what? It's not really special either, is it? Oh, uh, that is not my favorite kind of mail. It is no. Not. And and even if they, they don't care about you, those are just bills that everybody has to pay. That's right. And if you can't pay for it, they can even turn off your services. <gasps> That's really scary, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It no, is. these aren't very special either. Hundreds and hundreds of people get bills in the mail, and they have to pay them, but there's nothing really special about a bill. You're right. So what is left there, Miss Miriam? That does not look like a bill. It is not a bill. This is a really special letter. It's from my friend Phyllis, and she mailed it to me at my house, and she even put stickers. stickers on she it. put stickers yes. on it. I think fun. Yes. There's a hula hoop yes. and a teddy bear. And a robot? And a robot. Oh, yeah, cool. She always makes me smile when she sends it to me. But you know what's really special? Is when I opened it up, she didn't just send a card or didn't just type it on a computer. She sat down and wrote it with her very own hand. Special to me. And in it are really wonderful words of encouragement because she is such a wonderful friend. Yeah, you know, Miss Miriam, so lucky that you have a friend like Phyllis. She actually, just knowing that she thought of you enough to take the time to write you a letter just to do something nice. Yeah. That makes one, this letter, extremely special. It does. It's just like the letter you're writing. It is. And yeah. it's kind of like the letter the, the apostles used to write in the Bible times, didn't they? They would sit around and they, after Jesus rose from the dead and he was gone, they wanted to make sure that everybody remembered what had happened, so they would write letters. That's right. You know, Miss Miriam, I remember um, the Peter, the, Peter the Apostle, and there was Paul, and they went preaching the good news about Jesus, and, and they, they went to different places. They stayed in Jerusalem and other places, and while they traveled, um, to Judea and Samaria and to all the nations saying the good news of Jesus. That's right. First, you know, they preached the Jews. They would go to the synagogues and they would tell the Jews about the good news because they started there. But a lot of them had hardened their hearts and they weren't listening very well. So after they went there, then they started to go out to what they called the Gentiles, the people that weren't the Jews. And they would start to share that good news with them. And that is when it started to be the whole world hearing about the gospel of Jesus. Oh, that is so exciting. It is. That was when the apostles wrote letters. And then God spoke through them, through these letters to the people. Mm -hmm. And so by reading the letters the new Christians would gain understanding about God through these letters. And, and it was encouragement, just like the same encouragement that our friends has, have given us. And I think it changed their hearts and made them want to follow Jesus and to glorify God. That's right. Just like our church members, we can read the letters that they wrote too in the Bible, can't we? And they're letters that we can use to encourage us. They're letters that we can, and the Bibles that we can use to, um, to tell us what's right and what's wrong. And they can also use us to 
to like make us kind of feel bad so that we change our ways and we make different choices so that we can live a righteous life through Jesus. Ah, so awesome. You know, Miss Miriam, this reminds me of the Bible event that King Rodney is going to share later about the Apostle Paul. And Paul was put into prison, but he continues, continued God's work while he was in prison. He did not let prison stop him. He would write letters to his disciples telling them to keep preaching and keep going out into the world. And, and he sent them letters of encouragement to keep all these people going. I just wonder, Miss Miriam, mm -hmm. how on earth the letters got sent in Bible times. Mm -hmm. They didn't have a stamp or a post service. And he was in prison. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a really good question. But let's talk about Paul a little bit. He met lots and lots of people. And one of the people he met was Timothy. And Timothy was a lot younger than Paul. But even though he was so young, Paul still came to him and said, Timothy, you are well thought of by the believers. I want you to be a part of my mission trip. Wow! So that's right. Timothy was just a young person. And, and he was recognized by Paul as a strong example, even as a young person. That's right. Paul took Timothy along with him on his mission journey. And then they started lots of churches. And they accomplished an awful lot. And then the one day when Paul was thrown into prison, he wanted to make sure that Timothy would continue preaching that good news to people. And he wanted to make sure that he had decided, so he decided to write him letters to help oh. him make that decision. Okay, that's right. So mm -hmm. Timothy received the letter and began to read it. And I think the words from Paul were something like this. Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example for all believers. And Timothy understood exactly what Paul was saying, mm -hmm. and he knew what he had to do. So he went out, and Timothy understood that something very important, you are never too young to be an example for others That's and teach them about God. That's right. We can all change the world, can't That's we? That's right, Miss Miriam. Let's see what King Rodney has to tell us today. Good morning, boys and girls. King Rodney here with you. Excited to share another Bible event as I share God's Word with you. Today we're going to hear about Paul and Timothy, and it comes from the book of Acts, and later Paul writes a letter to Timothy. Paul chose Silas for a mission trip. The church leaders sent Paul and Silas with the grace of the Lord, so they went through Syria. Paul strengthened the churches. He came to Derbe and to Lystra. A disciple was there named Timothy. He was the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. He was well spoken of by the brothers, so Paul wanted Timothy to accompany them. Paul, Silas, and Timothy went on their way through the cities. They delivered the decisions of the apostles and elders, and the churches were strengthened in faith. They increased in numbers daily. And now, boys and girls, Paul loves Timothy, and young Timothy became a minister of the Word, of the Bible. He was Paul's trusted friend and worker. Two of Paul's last letters that he wrote were written to Timothy. They show Paul's trust in him and his trust in the Lord. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by command of God our Savior and of Christ Jesus our hope, to Timothy, my true child in the faith. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. The aim of our work is love that comes from a pure heart and a good conscience and sincere faith. The Lord stood by me and strengthened me so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed. Then all the Gentiles might hear it. I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil deed. He will bring me safely into his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Boys and girls, this is the word of our Lord. Hey, Gordy. Oh, how are you doing? Oh, hi, Miss Megan, and hi, kids. It's good seeing them this week. It is so good to yeah. see the kids this week. I miss them so much. Me too. Hey, Gordy, um... You got quite a necklace going on there. You like it? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, where'd you get it? 
Well, I wanted to make a special necklace because I came to church today and it's a mean link necklace. Ooh, can you tell me what's a mean link necklace? Sure. These are all the ways my mom is mean to me. Uh, Gordy, yeah, yeah, your yeah. mom is not mean to you. Yes, yeah, she sure is, and the necklace is here to prove it. Uh, what do yeah. you, Gordy, what do you mean? Well, ask me what each paper clip means. Okay, uh -huh. Uh -huh. what does that paper clip right there mean? Well, that's my mom is so mean, she won't let me spend the night with Sammy Snoober. Oh. Paper clip. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, so what does this paper clip mean? Well, shh. Miss Megan, that means that my mom is so mean that she won't let me spend the night with my Sammy Snoober. Hmm. Okay. Well, what does this paper clip mean? Well, my mom is so mean, she won't let me spend the night with Sammy Snoober. Okay, so what about this paper clip? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, let me guess that okay. she won't let you spend the night with Sammy Snoober. Uh, how did you know? Um, I think it was just a lucky guess. Gordy, huh. um, what happened? Well, last night I wanted to spend the night with Sammy Snoober. And guess what? <sighs> Your mom didn't let you. Yeah, how did you know? Ah, uh, just lucky again. She didn't let me because today is Sunday and it's church day. And my mom always makes sure that I'm here on Sunday. You know, Gordy, your mom isn't mean by doing that. Your mom is loving you, Gordy. Uh, but not letting me spend the night with Sammy Snoober? Well, you know, um, no, she's making sure that you're here on Sundays. Yeah, but I can't spend the night with Sammy Snoober then. My mom doesn't understand. You know, Gordy, did your mom, as a little girl, go to church every week? Oh, yeah, that was really important to my grandma. And when my mom was a little girl, she loved going to church. You know, well, Gordy, maybe your mom does understand. You see, it's a blessing when your moms and our dads and our grandparents know how important it is to go to church so that we can know and love and follow Jesus. Um, it is also a blessing that we can talk about Jesus at home with our family. Yeah, but what about spending the night? Well, Gordy, you know what? Let's get to that later, all right? Remember how King Rodney read the story about a young man named Timothy? Oh, yeah, he was a young kid. Yeah, okay, uh -huh. so he had a mom and a grandma who helped him grow up to have a strong and sincere faith. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it, it, it was. Uh -huh. And that reminds me of today, today's take-home point. Can you help me teach the children? That would be fun. Okay, I will start it off, and then you do the next line, okay? Okay, okay. Thank you, God, for the people. And who links us to Jesus? Okay, let's try it one more well, time. Yeah, I, okay. I, I, I think it's. I think I got my part. Okay, okay. okay here we go. All more. right. So thank you, God, for the people who linked link us to, to Jesus. Jesus. Oh, got good it. job, Ooh, Gordy. Good fine. job. You gotta think about yeah, that. I know you do. Yeah, to think yeah, about it yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. So maybe your links that you have here could remind you of love, oh. meaning that our parents can pass it on to their children, the truth about Jesus, and then their children can pass it on again to the next generation. Oh, yeah. This is a little bit different than your paperclip chain. Oh, yeah. You yeah. mean that my mom is mean and chain? I shouldn't have. Yeah, you know, um, do you think you ought to change that? Yeah, you're right. I think I better change it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, Gordy, do you see why you um, you couldn't spend the night with Sammy? Yeah, because it's, it's important that I'm here, and it is important that I know, love, and follow Jesus. I understand that. Yeah, that's right, Gordy. Yeah, I understand and, that. Yeah, uh -huh. and, and your mom wants you to help that happen. So when you grow up and you're a parent, you can link your children to also know about yeah, God's love. Yeah, 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 but what about Sammy Schnellberg? I, I wanted to spend the night with him. You know, I have an idea, Gordy. But, you know, but, but. maybe you can invite Sammy to church with you next week next Sunday, Whoa. and maybe he could spend the night at your house Saturday Whoa. night, and he could go to Faith Roots. Whoa, that's a great idea, Miss Megan. You know, I think so, too. Do you think he'd like to come? 
Sure, he wants to great time here, and, and I do, and, and he doesn't know anything about Jesus. So I think he would be kind of curious. I do too. Yeah, Gordy. You know what? That's a good you idea. You are just the friend that Sammy needs. You can not only invite him here, but you can tell him about Jesus. What do I say about that? Well, Gordy, what's the most important thing about Jesus? Well, let's see. He gave his life for us. He shed, um, he died on the cross for us and shed his blood. Oh, and yeah. um, what else? Well, he's still alive inside of us, right here, right in my heart he is. That's right. And if you really like a friend like Sam, yeah. right, uh -huh. which I know you do, yeah, 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 right, then you'll want him to meet your friend Jesus. Wow, that's a great idea, Miss Megan. And I'm sorry that I said that things about my mom, that if she was really, she's really not mean. She, she launders my clothes and she gives me food and she loves me up and gives me the best hugs. I know, Gordy. You know, I am so glad that you said you're sorry, but, but you know what? what? Hey, Gordy, it's okay. You are a good kid. Oh, and, and, um, and, and you already know that you shouldn't say things like that. Yeah, yeah, sometimes you just have to be a, I just had that Gordy moment. That <laughs> I know. stupid Gordy moment. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Don't be so tough on yourself, Gordy. Okay? Okay. You know, I think maybe right now we should just pray. Okay. And, um, and thank God for your parents. Would you like to do that for us, Gordy? Oh, yeah, I really, I really do need to pray. Right. Okay, kids, bow your head, fold yes. your hands. Here we go. Okay, dear God, thanks for moms and dads and grandpas and grandmas and aunts and uncles and teachers and pastors. <gasps> Those are all people that are helping me and all us kids to be linked to your love, linked to your love. Help us when we grow up to link your love to our kids too. It's important and I'm so so oh, sorry I complained about my mom not spending the night at Sammy Snoopers, but help it work out this weekend so that Sammy can come to my house and we can come to Sunday school and and my friend and oh and he's gonna learn about Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' name, Miss Bacon. Amen. Amen. Oh, woo! Bye bye kids. Bye See bye you kids. Next week. Woohoo! Oh, Albie, how are you today? Uh, hi, Miss Miriam. I'm super. Hi, kids. It's good to be here again. I just it love is. seeing the kiddos. It, it is so much fun, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. We were talking today about letters. Have you ever gotten a letter, Albie? Well, <laughs> airmail. <laughs> airmail. I fly around oh, and give out my mail and I get mail from my friends. Yep, that's how I do it. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Airmail's a good one. Uh -huh. Yep, yep. I'm glad you can do that. So. Uh -huh. Yeah, we were talking about letters because the apostles used to write letters to all the people, all the believers, to help wow. encourage That's them. That's really neat. Yeah. You know what, Albie? Oh. You encourage me every week. Did I you do? Know that? You do, because you are so good at working on that Bible point. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of sometimes kind of silly, but yeah. I finally yeah. get it. I really do, and you I thank do. you for helping me I to know. get it. Oh, That uh -huh. was so exciting. Yeah. But... Do you remember, but Gordy had that silly necklace on, didn't he? Oh my goodness, and he said it was a mean mom and his mom's not mean. I know, moms are good, no. aren't they? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Well, Gordy was kind of confused, and he was a little upset, right? But yeah, and he, he understood at the end that he was wrong. That's right. Yep, yeah, he sure that, did. That we, we want to thank God for all those people that link us to Jesus, right? Yeah, yeah. That's I'm our take-home point. Did you know that? It is? It is. Oh, okay. Are you ready to practice it? Well, yeah. I can. Okay, here how about the kids? Can you help me? Oh, I bet they can. They're really I, good. I think so. Yeah. Let me start it. Are you ready? Thank you, God, for the people who, who link us to Jesus. Jesus. Let's do oh, it another time yeah, so I'll be in here. Are yeah, you ready? Time. Thank you, God, for the people who, who link us to Jesus. Jesus. Okay, are you ready, Albie? Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Here uh -huh. we go. Here we go. Thank you, God, for the people who blink and see cool colors like red and yellow and orange, kind of like a rainbow. Oh, my goodness. It, not blink. Yeah, blink. 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 No, no, blink. No, blink. You blink your 
Oh. Right, and then you'll start to see all those colors. No, link, like his necklace was all linked together and oh. how we are all linked because we love Jesus oh. and how Jesus' love makes us a family oh. and Christians I and we're it. linked together. I get it. Okay. 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 You think you're uh -huh. ready? Sure. All right, kids, let's help him one more time. Are you ready? Okay. Thank you, God, for the people who link, link us, us to Jesus. Jesus. Are you ready, Elsie? Sure. Uh -huh. Thank you, God, for the people who live in a cup of pumpkin. A cup of pumpkin? Uh-huh. A cup of pumpkin. Pumpkin pie and pumpkin cookies and pumpkin again. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. And look, who linked yes. us to Jesus, not pumpkin, <gasps> not food. It's time for the boys and girls to do their favorite VBS song. What song do you want? I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. That's a good song. Now, King Rodney needs to know, though, if you trust me. Do you trust me? Yes. Do you trust me? Yes. You do? A whole lot? Let's find out. All right, turn around. Face me. And, nope, not that. I mean, you know what I mean. King Rodney doesn't know. Okay. I'm going to count to three, and you're going to trust that I'm going to catch you. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Everybody count with me. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh! Ah!
was meant.